Today I've got another older game for you. It's called Warlords 2 Battle Cry. It's an RCS game from 2002 and it features an undead faction which seems nice enough. I'll admit I don't know too much about this game so this video will only cover the game in a basic sort of superficial way. It's just another game that came up in my quest for necromancer RCS games and I wasn't playing it as a kid or anything like that. There seems to be a sequel to an older DOS game called Warlords 2 from 1993, which was a lot of fun, but completely different to this. It's kind of a hero based game in that at the beginning of the game your hero is your first builder and your hero plays a pretty important role. The first thing you do is create your hero. You get to name them, choose their race and choose a portrait for them. Most of you, myself included, will choose the undead race because they do well with the undead faction. You can choose a different race than undead for your hero, so long as the race isn't too much of a goody two-shoes. A dark elf hero would work well for undead too, for example. You start out a game with just a hero and their retinue. The retinue is a sort of elite force that you get from winning or losing battles, and you accumulate more and more of them over time. On lower difficulties, simply playing the game will make your hero better. Even if you lose a game, you'll get a small amount of XP and maybe a new unit for your retinue. The hero is responsible for converting resource structures to your side so that they produce resources for you. He is also responsible for building your first buildings until you can make a dedicated builder unit like a zombie or a thrall. Your hero also has an inventory, and you can find and wear items looted during battles. Once you have a builder, they can be put to work creating defensive structures like towers and walls, or production and upgrade structures to make and upgrade units with. It's not a bad game, and has a very high rating over on GOG. I rather like it, but I'm really bad at this game, I haven't spent too much time playing it or figuring it out, just because I haven't been enjoying it a whole lot. Which sounds kind of weird, I know. I like the game, yet I haven't been enjoying myself playing it. I think that means that perhaps I'm just not in the mood for it right now. I've had a handful of games and lost most of them. But I've got enough of an idea now about how the game works to make this short video on it and tell you more or less how I feel about it. The design philosophy behind the Undead Faction seems to be quantity over quality. Your units are weak compared to the enemy, but you can get a whole lot of them pretty fast. Not that it'll do you much good though, because they seem to lose unless they outnumber the enemy 12 to 1. So far I've only been able to figure out how to make zombies, skeletons, bats and thralls. There's other units, but I'm just not sure how to make them yet. Zombies and thralls can fight, but they're pretty rubbish at it. They're meant to be builders, and it shows. Zombies are produced one by one out of a graveyard and can be upgraded to scavenge resources from corpses on the battlefield. Thralls can be made in bursts from cages. Skeletons are your basic troops and are fairly cheap. They're produced from the cemetery like zombies are. You can also set your builders to work making gravestones. Gravestones cost gems and stone, but can be consumed to make a skeleton with. Then there's the bats. These bats are cheap and fast, and seem to do very well against buildings. It's a funny game and doesn't look too bad for an older game. It's crazy to think though that this game came out in the same year as Warcraft 3, which also has an undead faction. I'll cover that game someday too. It runs well, although it gets unstable if you alt tab or something, and it only runs in low resolutions. It also seems to change resolutions a lot with the menu having a different resolution to the loading screen and also a different resolution for the game itself which makes it a real joy to try and record for a video like this because it's constantly changing resolution. If you like what you see in the gameplay behind me, it might be worth trying. There's only a handful of these RCS games out there which have undead and necromancy and this is one of them. I'd say it's probably not my favourite implementation of Undead in an RTS, and it's probably not the most satisfying one either, but it's worth mentioning at least so you know what's out there and if you want something new and different, 
that you haven't played before, then perhaps this will scratch that itch for you. I regret not doing a proper analysis in this game and learning how to play it properly to access all the other units, but I'm just not enjoying it enough right now to bother exploring it in its entirety. I'd like to move on and cover other games, but I would recommend that you check this one out if you like the RTS genre. It does seem halfway decent, and it has spell casting and all kinds of other things that I didn't cover.